Welcome to Python for Beginners, Chapter 8. We're going to talk about object-oriented programming, or OOP. An object-oriented program, it's simply, it's a programming paradigm that organizes your code into objects, making it easier to manage, reuse, and extend. What we're going to do is we're going to explore the fundamentals. We're just going to go look at it um, briefly. And so what you're going to learn in this chapter is what is object-oriented programming, understanding the classes and objects, and defining methods and attributes, and then the concept of inheritance, and of course a couple of examples of object-oriented programming. So object-oriented programming is a way to model the real world using classes and objects. So a class is a blueprint for creating objects. It, it defines the structure and behavior of the objects. And an object is an instance of that class. And it contains the data, which is the attributes, and the behavior, which are the methods. And so when we break down the concept of class and its attributes with a simple real world example, we're going to look at um, a class to represent a car. And so this is the class. The class name is at the top, so it's a car. And imagine a car has attributes, so the data that goes with it. So there are, its attributes may be the color. It might be the make, the model, the fuel level. Uh, those types of things are attributes for the car. And then it may have methods, things like driving, refueling, or honking its horn. Those are all things it does. So that's the basic car class. And if we take this class, as you can see, I've defined at the beginning, it's the how you initialize it. And when we initialize it, we make the make of the car is make and the model of the car is model and the color of the car is color and the fuel level is the fuel level. When we drive the car, if the fuel level is greater than zero, then the fuel level, we should take it down by one point. And then we can print color of the car, the make of the car, the model of the car uh, is driving and the fuel level, we actually print out fuel level. So we're using that print command with the format in front of it so that we can access the variables in the print command. And if the fuel level is empty, we're going to just print the car has no fuel. So we can do a refuel and to refuel, we can set the car fuel level to 10. We can print the car has been refueled and we can honk the horn. So we can say beep beep when the horn honks. So if we then create an object instance from the class, we basically say my car is a car, the make, remember it's looking for make, model, color, and fuel level. So the make is Toyota. The model is Corolla. The color is red. And the fuel level is five. And then we simply print out what that car is. So it should come out red. And then we can print, we can uh, run my car drive. And the output should be the red Toyota Corolla is driving fuel level four. And why is it four? Because we reduced it by one before we printed that out. And then my car honk, we're going to cause it to honk its horn and it will print out beep, beep. So let's just run that. We can see what happens. And sure enough, when we run it, we get red. So that's printed my car color. And we get the red Toyota Corolla is driving. Its fuel level is four. And we also get the beep beep from the horn. So you can see that now we have our car object. We can make our car do things, or we can look at the car's attributes. And we can equally set those attributes too. So I think it's worth mentioning that we've introduced the concept of self here. And self is a keyword. And in Python, when you define methods inside a class, you need to refer to the instance of the class, the object, from within those methods. And that's where the self keyword comes into play. 
So the self keyword represents the instance of the class. So if we have my car, it's self.car. So the reason it's important is Python wouldn't know which instance of the class you're referring to. And it helps to differentiate between class level variables, those shared by all instance, instances and instance level variables, those specified to an individual object. So basically self is a reference to the current instance of the class and it allows you to access instance specific data attributes and methods. Every method inside a class must have self as the first parameter, unless you declare them as static methods. So you don't need to pass self when calling methods on an object. Python automatically passes it for you. So that whole self concept is important because when you start to create these classes and you use self, if you forget the self keyword at the beginning, fuel level now is a different variable than self dot fuel level. When it's self, it's an attribute of this whole class. Now let's talk about inheritance a little bit. So inheritance allows you to create a new class. There's a specialized version of an existing class and that helps us in reusing code and extending functionality. So I'm gonna create a truck class that inherits from the car class and adds a new behavior. So what we're gonna do is we're creating our base class and then we create the truck class. So here's the base class, which is my car. And the truck class inherits the car. And then we add new attributes to it. So now we have uh, load cargo. So we can do that. And we can print out some information about our truck. So the super function is used to call the constructor of the base class. So when I use that super in it, make model car, this that's all coming from make model color fuel level from the car itself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that and you'll see when it says my truck equals the truck Ford F-150 blue eight and a thousand pounds now. So that's the cargo capacity. And then we're going to see my truck drive. So it's going to, it's going to do the drive part. And then it's going to do my truck load cargo with 500. So it's going to go 500 into here. And it's going to say loaded weight units of cargo, or it's going to print cannot load those units because you exceeded the maximum capacity. So let's run it. Let's see what happens. And right away, you can see my output is the blue Ford F-150 is driving fuel level seven. So it's used this drive part over here. And then loaded 500 units of cargo. So here it did the load. It loaded my 500 units of, of cargo. And it printed out that message. Now, if I exceed my capacity, and so my cargo capacity, when we set up my car, was 1,000. So if I say this is 1,500, And then I rerun this. I'm going to save it. And here it says the blue Ford F-150 is driving. A fuel level is seven. And it cannot load 1,500 units. The maximum capacity is 1,000. So we exceeded that cargo capacity and you can see it's running both of these as if it were one so basically in this chapter you've learned how to create a class and objects and how to define attributes and methods using the self uh, keyword and then the concept of inheritance to extend functionality so classes provide that blueprint for creating those objects attributes store data about an object and methods define its behavior Inheritance allows you to, to reuse and specialize code efficiently. So that's all we're going to touch on for the object oriented program. I know it's just a light touch, but I just wanted to expose you to it so you understand what it is. So the next steps, we're going to have a look at um, some databases and we'll see how to use SQLite in chapter nine. 
If you enjoyed the video, and if you're enjoying the book, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can submit them on the in the comments for this video. And I do endeavor to get to them. In fact, I've been working with somebody in Australia who's trying to learn programming and uh, helping him to, to review his code. And he's done a fantastic job so far. And it's uh, exciting to see how much he's been able to do just by working through the videos and understanding the concepts. So that's it for now. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. And I'll look forward to making the next video.